Good morning, Year 6. Well, Good morning, Year 6. It's week 7. 7 weeks. And we're still here. 7 times 5 is 35. So after this, we're going to have 35 days of home learning. That's something. Monday again. Monday again. I feel like a lot of us are feeling like this baby right now. But in saying that, Mr Martin, today we have afternoon rewards afternoon. So Monday's not so bad today. Seems a little bit, there's a little bit of light at the end of the Monday tunnel. That's right. All right. Well, we'll get started. First thing today, we'll go through our literacy contract. Um, just a reminder, two tasks per day each. And we'll go through the task with you now. So task number one is that this week is book week. So we're trying to celebrate that as much as we can. And the theme this year is old worlds, new worlds, and other worlds. So what we would like for you guys to do is that we would like for you guys to create a poster that represents this theme for this year. So you guys can either choose to represent this poster either in a drawing or a painting. You might want to choose to make a photograph with filters, but the photo must be taken by you. You can't upload something from the internet. Or you can make a Canva presentation. And you, we want you guys to upload and picture your picture and explain what do the world represent. So how does part of your image, maybe does it represent the old world? Is it something that represents the new world or something that does it represent the other world, another world? And you can upload that just straight onto your, onto your slides or if you do it on Canva, just as long as you send it to Mrs. Moore and I, we can have a look at that. All right, moving into our shared reading. So shared reading this week, you will have noticed, or you might not yet, but this week is book week. So for book week, you are going to be just listening to and just the same question you're going to have each day. And you're just going to be listening to teachers read a different book each day. So we thought we might get you to do a book as well. So you are going to be able to do this in a, with a partner if you like. If you would like to join with a partner, a bit like when we did our, what our was it? Books. It was the it picture was books. Our books about a fairy tale. I mean, it wasn't a fairy tale. It was We just got them to um, based off another book. Yeah. Okay. So now this shared activity, you might need to look at all the different stories and you uh, the heading might might spark something for you so with you and a partner or you by yourself we want you to write either something that would happen before that of the story that one of our teachers read so listen to a story that one of our teachers read think about okay I could write a story about something that happened before this book or I could write something another story of what happened after this book um, after the conclusion of this book so you are going to be able to create your own picture book now you will be able to do that in a google slide so mr martin and i have uploaded a google slide for you to use now we have all the instructions in here now once you've read all the instructions and you know what to do delete all that writing that mr martin and i have put in this google slide um, and then that way you can present. Now, if you are someone who is doing it with a partner, just let us know on your Google slides. Just say, I'm working with Mr. Martin on my shared reading task. Now, another thing Mr. Martin and I acknowledge and realise that this task is more than just a one tasker. This task may take you a couple of days to do, and that's fine. So in your Google slides, if you could just write in there, um, worked on my shared reading task today. We did slides four, five, and six. And that way, Mr. Martin and I know the work that you were doing that day. So you might only get one task done that day, but you've done a lot of work within that day on this one task. Probably no more than about three days. What do you think, Mr. Martin? Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Three days would probably be a lot. And just a reminder as well, uh, Mr. Moore, I don't know if you mentioned it already. Um, if you were working with the partner, you guys don't need to have the exact same work on two different slides. So what you might do is say, if Mrs. Moore and I were working together, we might do all of our work on Mrs. Moore's slides. But on my slides, I would just say, I am working with Mrs. Moore. The work for our book is on her slides. So just let the teacher know where that work is going to be. And you just share that doc with your partner. That way they can work on it at the same time you are. Yeah. Um, 
grammar punctuation. So we'll put some more tasks on the study ladder, see if you can complete all four of them. Um, summarizing the text. So we want you guys to watch this news report from BTN and there are three different topics that they talk about in that, in that news report. We want you guys to summarize those three different topics in at least five dot points. For our read theory, it's just our two activities. Now, we do have a lot of activities on today. Remember, we just talked about that the shared reading tasks may take more. So these non-star tasks, I probably wouldn't stress too much about those this week. You really need to get those star tasks done. So that BTN is more important than our read theory and our spelling this week. So our spelling is poly. We'll see how many kids get this done. We might roll some of these over into next week, Mr. Martin. Yeah. We can then we move into our mini speeches where we're starting our new, are we starting our new topic? New topic. Should yeah. kids have social media accounts? Yes, this is our new topic. So this is your new topic for our mini speeches and this one needs to get done as well. Yeah, so for this week, like we've done the last couple of weeks, year six, this week you might just be writing your speech, getting it ready to present. Um, make sure you're using the slides on here to start to plan and have a look at your speech. Then if you'd like to, you can do, excuse me, you can record it on this flip grid here. And then also making sure that you're doing that reflection task at the reflection part on the end on those slides. Yeah. Um, Dogo News will be posted for you guys um, that next week. So just remembering when you're answering it, answer it in full sentences, please. And then we have our guided reading. So again, Mr. Martin and I will be You'll be joining Mr. Martin and I for our guided reading sessions. And so our question to you is, the government should make COVID vaccines mandatory. List reasons for and against this statement. Choose the side that you agree with and write a paragraph explaining your opinion. Now, remember, us as teachers will go through this with you during our guided reading sessions. So if you have any questions, make sure you talk to us about that while we're doing our guided reading session. This brings us on to our practicing our voice of you speeches. Now, year six, this everyday part, doing the voice of you speech by itself is not enough. You guys need to be doing two different tasks out of those nine, as well as doing that on top of it. Find some time just to practice your speech. Saying that you were just doing that as your literary contract activity is not going to cut it with us. You need to make sure you're doing at least two different activities per day, unless it's like that really big one, like Mrs. Moore and I said, if you're doing the shared reading task where you're making that... Um, making that book, that prequel, that sequel, that would probably be the only reason why you do one task in a day. That on top of it, practicing your voice of your speech needs to be done daily. All right, that's literacy contract for this week. Yeah, that takes us on to shared reading. So as I said in the literacy contract, shared reading this week is going to be just listening to us teachers read a book. So we will be reading different shortlisted books. So shortlisted books are books that there is a group of people who decide that these ones really um, do a really great job at getting their message across to their audience. And the messages or the ideas for this year is old worlds, new worlds and other worlds. So that idea that the people within the story are in either a new world an old world or in another world, a make-believe world. So we want you to listen. We don't have the videos as yet, which is the reason why it's not posted there right now. We will get those and we will put that up there before next week. But we will get you to answer the question on the next slide and it's going to be the same each day. Each day. So this year's book week theme is old worlds, new worlds and other worlds. How do you believe the book for today links to that theme so where is that theme so I'm going to just quickly give you a bit of an insight so I'm reading a book called The Unwilling Twins and it's about another world my one's about another world so this make-believe world that this little girl and um she has her twin which is a pig now in the story, we don't quite know, is it a make-believe, is it a real pig that she has as a pet or is it just a, a make-believe doll that she has? But she uses this pig and she talks to it and she does things with him and 
Um, it's just that it's another world. It's a make-believe world. So that when you listen to my story, that's the th kind of things that you'll be talking about in your shared reading response. So mine is another world. Could be like an example. If you're looking at old world, this is more like I think of the um, the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, so that was about in the 1920s about racial discrimination in um, Southern America. That would be classified as old world. Yeah. Because that's pun that's happened in the past. Yeah, that's right. So stay tuned and wait and see what books that get put up and we'll have it. And if we need to have a chat during our Zoom meetings on each morning, we can do that as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's going to bring us into writing for, for today, Year 6. So what we'll have a look at is that now we're getting you guys to be focusing on the body paragraph and continue to do some writing for that. Um, remember, it's really important to um, talk about the facts and the events. Find quotes from people. Like Mrs. Moore and I have said, if you're doing something about home learning, it doesn't need to be from a famous person. It could be someone who's related to the topic. So if you're doing something like home learning, you could talk, maybe ask Mrs. Moore and I for a quote. You could ask your parents. You could ask people from our class for a quote as well. If you're doing something that's a little bit different, like if you're doing like a major sporting event or something like that, maybe do a little bit of research and find some quotes from people who have talked about that topic to support what you're saying. Um, also remember, think about the images and the captions underneath them that you're going to start to use. And start to think, are you going to use subheadings to break up the different parts in your different sections of your, of your news article? Um, we're going to have today, we're also going to have tomorrow to be working on our body paragraph as well. Moving on to maths. So again, we have a video that we'd like you to watch. So make sure you watch that video that's on the side there. And a bit like last week, we were converting, we're converting again. But our hot tip this time is remember that 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram and 1,000 kilograms is equal to one ton. So there, they are our hot tips. So make sure you watch that, um, that video and then you'll be able to answer the questions on the next slide. So again, we have a table and we want you to convert between each of the units of measurement. And in the video, it goes through how you times by a thousand or you divide by a thousand. It shows you what to do with the decimal place. So just have a look at it, have a listen and watch it a couple of times if you need to. And if you still need some help, make sure you speak to Mr. Martin and I. Yep. And that brings us to our reward afternoon. Yay! So we know you guys have been working really hard and uh, we just thought Monday is probably the best day to do this. So what you'll have is that you've reached a thousand points, you six, good work. You're getting closer and closer to making Mrs. Moore and I dance, which we're going to have to start practicing oh, no. for. We are going to have to start practicing. I'm a little bit nervous about that. These things aren't made for dancing. I can barely walk, let alone dance. Um, but we just thought don't, you guys... Mr. Are Martin, don't you go breaking an ankle on me and then me leaving me to do it by myself. That is not going to be on. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to get you, what, we, what you can do this afternoon, guys, it's an afternoon off for you. So we've just said we've given you some ideas, but it's, it's up to you what you do. Maybe take the opportunity to relax, go outside, kick a footy around, go for a bike ride, talk to your friends, unwind and relax. It's important for you guys to do that. And because you've been working so hard, this is your reward for it. So just enjoy the afternoon off. Have a great afternoon, you six. Yeah, have a good afternoon, you six. Then keep up the good work. We'll see you at 9.30 tomorrow or today for our Zoom meetings. All right. See you later. Bye, you six.